Hey there, welcome back to my channel Automate with Rakesh and please do subscribe to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn how can you split values with multiple delimiters. So if you see, look at this uh, option here, you have uh, the phone number and alternate phone number is separated by a forward slash. Here there is a space between the slashes. Okay, you can see there is a space and then there is a, another delimiter that is used that is ampersand right so end this end this or sometime you might also find comma semicolon right so with all this kind of a different different uh, delimiters how can you separate this data and you can write this to a different table with the name primary phone number alternate phone number getting it so this one column has got two two numbers one is the primary phone number the other one is the alternate phone number so you have to separate them or split them and then write the username and then write the primary phone number and alternate phone number okay so that is the uh, that is the ask and this is one of the practical use case uh, which you have to uh, you may face during your project development right so how do you really uh, do this so first of all to do this i am going to give it a simple clue okay how this works and then using the clue you need to develop the entire workflow okay so i am not going to go through this workflow completely which i have done but i would probably show it in the uh, upcoming video but right now i'll give you the clue how this can be separated when there are multiple different delimiters right uh, in uipath studio now what you do go to your uipath studio activities and then type assign okay i'll take a very simple example i'll create a variable and i'll give it a name as a okay and in this variable i am going to write multiple strings so i'll put a quote and i'm going to say write one okay put a comma write two put a semicolon write three put a uh, uh, you know slash write four uh, put a ampersand write five so there are five different numbers but there are multiple delimiters used one is comma one is semicolon right uh, one is forward slash one is ampersand so with all of this how can you separate the values and your output should only show one two three four five okay there are multiple delimiters okay to do this i am going to give you a small trick or a syntax that you should learn so here i will say um, i'll create a variable and i will say Mm, I'll give it a, a variable name called n, which is numbers. Okay, and this n variable is supposed to be an array. So when you split it, the output would be one, two, three, four, five. There will be five different outputs. So this has to be an array. So what I will do, I will make this as an array of strings, array of integer strings, whatever. So I'll keep it as string. Okay, because it's a string and within double quotes. So now array of string I have created. Now, what is that you should write? This is important. Okay, this is the trick. So here our variable name is a, right? I'll say a dot. I will say split tab and in bracket. So this is how we generally used to mention the delimiter, something like this, right? But here there are multiple delimiters. So how do you write? So for that, all you do use two curly braces. Simple. I'm going very slow. Variable name dot split moon bracket and two curly braces within the curly braces first i am using a double quote so what are those different delimiters that we have used the first one is a comma so i will put a comma okay go out of this uh, uh, double quote put a comma just to separate and write the second delimiter within double quotes again this is a semicolon okay done what is the third delimiter i'll put a comma and then within double quotes uh, the third one is a forward slash right go put a comma within double quotes what is the third one for fourth one is the ampersand okay so i have written all the delimiters now after you write after this curly braces put a comma and write string split options dot none so this is the syntax string of split options dot none by writing this what happens because there are multiple delimiters it is going to take each of this delimiter and you know divide that entire value and show you the output okay done now i want to see all the values 
you can use an array or in simply in a message box you can print so i'll use a message box okay so the first one is let me write in a bigger window okay so the first one it is all the values will come in the array n so i will say n and then i will say 0 so this is going to show me the uh, first value which is 1 right uh, i'm putting the index numbers that's all you use a plus sign double quote give it a space so that we can read it properly one space give it a plus sign and then again write n and in bracket you write 1 okay and the same thing you need to repeat so i'll copy this entire thing and i will paste 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 so here 0 1 i'll change it to 2 then i will change this to 3 so i'm putting the index numbers okay change this to 4 change this to 5 so in the array index number 0 1 2 3 4 so we need 4 not 5 right on the uh, total 5 output will come right we have 1 2 3 4 5 1 so these are the index numbers okay so uh, array index number so array is n this is our n is the array so 0 1 2 3 4 all the array values i have mentioned click on ok now if you run this right so the output should come as 1 2 3 4 5 okay so this is the clue okay do you see i was able to split it 1 2 3 4 5 now just imagine i'll give you also another uh, example here uh, i have 1 2 3 4 5 ampersand 5 right what if i provide a space here click on okay so there is a space now if you uh, run this file what is the output will i get okay so here you can see 1 2 3 4 and there is a space appeared right so i don't want a space either you can use dot trim function or else there is also another way let me teach you that um, all you do here i am using a space so that will consider it and i am going to run this once again see last time the output was coming with a space this time it should not come okay 1 2 3 4 5 so it has come properly or else you can use a dot trim whatever your ways so here what is what what should we learn this is what we should learn okay from this entire video a dot split uh, string split options dot none now using this your job is to create you know simple table like this you know just write it a simple table like this and then in the sheet 2 you should write name primary phone number alternate phone number i am going to come up with another video showing you this how to develop this okay so the trick is that so the trick i am using is the same using this particular uh, syntax i'll be creating the entire use case okay so please do that and anybody who was able to uh, do this without any error you are able to write the name phone number and alternate phone number just from the primary data table if you could do this please do mention um, you know you are able to do this and complete this exercise if not i am anyways going to come up with the next video you can uh, take help from that video so please do subscribe to our channel in case you have not done it yet so please do please do connect with our channel uh, there are ample of ui path contents that i have created which has helped many people around the world and it is definitely going to help you so stay connected so that you get updated with all the new videos that i'm uploading on a regular basis thank you guys take care we are going to meet in our next video take care bye bye